Well, we're gonna go clean up the plane. And by we, I mean me, solo adventure. I'm gonna go clean up the air coop and figure it uh, be a good time to talk about why the heck I bought an air coop. But uh, it's more fun to talk about this in the air. Two, three, confirm. It's looking good. Take off out on the roll. Mixtures in. Landing lights on. Full throttle. Everything's looking good. Airspeed 5, 30. Maintain center line. 45, 50. 55. 60. Rotate. So I don't think uh, I've ever really introduced myself. My name is Mitch, and uh, I am a I am my private pilot, and I'm currently working on my instrument uh, with the goal of making it to the airlines. So uh, really, I'm simultaneously working on instrument and commercial at the same time. Um, and the reason I bought or was in the market for a plane at all is time building. Um, for me personally, be, becoming a CFI and teaching for all my hours, it was going to take me so long. And, you know, I could still end up doing that, but it, it seemed like it would take me so long. And since I'm 27 and making a career change in life, I didn't really want to spend two years of my life teaching. So that being said, I was in the market to buy a plane. And when buying a plane, I'm the person that does a lot of research. I quickly came to realize, one, aviation is not cheap in any regard. So don't hear me saying, buy a plane, that's the cheap thing to do for time building. It is and it isn't. Aviation is expensive in general, but relatively, buying a plane to build hours was the quickest method and per hour the cheapest. I was in the market to buy a airplane. I started looking around, of course, at the cheapest airplanes. And there's all sorts of little home built stuff, anywhere from 10 grand. To, uh, well, I mean, any sky's the limit. But for what I was looking at, I was like 10 grand to 15 grand for a single seater home built. They're going to be good on gas um, and relatively new. Uh, but one seater didn't fit my mission. So. When looking at buying a plane, I think you need to look at what's your mission. And for me, I was looking for something relatively cheap for the initial purchase price. Maintenance is relatively low, fuel efficient, able to carry two people, and that's not only for my wife and I to take trips and make time building fun, but also to be able to split cost with CFIs, um, like my brother-in-law who you've seen in the videos, we're able to both log PIC time because he is technically being a safety pilot and giving dual, so we're able to log that time. So that helps me cut down on my cost in half for gas um, by being able to split some of those. So it takes the operation cost for me per hour for the air coop from well any plane but the air coop specifically it takes it from a roughly thirty five to forty dollars an hour to ten to twenty dollars an hour which is insane to turn here. All that being said, I still in my mind have not picked up plane yet. I'm looking at, you know, old 150s and like that, 
Um, the Piper, Omaha, for example. And honestly, when I was looking at high wings, I'm just not a fan. <laughs> Sorry, Cessna. Uh, now, there are some high wings I like, but generally, I prefer low wings. I needed two-seater with storage for taking the dog. So I ended up stumbling across the air tube and like what a weird little plane. But instantly I saw it and I loved the looks. Uh, some people would probably disagree. But I love the looks. I'm a big fan of the twin tail. And then when I started reading about them, I kind of fell in love with the, the history. And so I started digging and doing more research. The gallon per hour on these things are great. Um, let's call it five, five an hour. Well, I'm getting. traffic six I'm getting better than five an hour. Uh, I'm getting closer to 3.8 to 4.2 an hour is about what I've averaged. You know, obviously factors come into play. So. When I saw the Urkoop was getting five gallons an five gallons an hour, it was relatively safe, or I wouldn't even say relatively safe. It's pretty dang safe. It's hard to have a bad landing in an Urkoop due to the trailing link landing gear. And then you know the add the history element on top of it. I liked the looks. It could hold two people. It it just seemed like the perfect plane. And for what you're getting and paying, either. I could get a Cessna 150, a Piper Tomahawk, but for the price point I was looking in, which was sub 30,000, to get to get a Cessna or something like that in that price range, it was going to be a really worn out Cessna or that had had a hard life and needed a little bit of money to make it nicer again. With the Urkoop, for 20 Hey, you can get a really nice air coop. The reason I landed on an air coop is because of my mission. Of I needed something to build hours, so I didn't need fast. I needed to do it, to do it economically, both on the initial purchase price, but also on uh, gallons per hour. The MoGas was a huge plus for me. I wanted to be able to take someone with me, both for being able to share experiences and share cost uh, to cut down on my time building cost and honestly something that seemed cool so I love the look of this plane I love the bubble canopy I love the history behind it and all the things that this plane brought into aviation um, that is still being used today is it's just a fantastic little plane well, the whole reason for this YouTube channel is one, to document my process of time building. I think this is fun showing the adventures I'm going on. I don't know of anyone posting YouTube videos of them time building. And while I'll talk about this in another video, but time building didn't, doesn't, in my mind, have to be this monotonous thing. Time building can be fun, and so I found what I'm going to call a loophole to make it fun. So, again, thanks for listening and watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in watching some more time-building adventures. Uh, like I've said, time-building doesn't have to doesn't have to be monotonous. So let's make it fun and let's do it in a nearly 80-year-old airplane. So, again, thanks for watching um, my story and shindig on why the heck I bought an air coupe. Whatever.